for this piece of music, I'm using Logic Pro. What you have seen here is my finished recording. And now I'm going to show you how to make the recording by start doing the vocal. First, find a plus button on the top and click. Here you will see many choices on the label. Choose audio and click on the create button. Now you can start recording your audio. To record your vocal, you can use the built-in microphone by singing directly to the Mac. Or you can use an audio interface to connect to your favorite dynamic or condenser microphone with XLR cable. You can also use a USB microphone to connect directly to your USB port. There are usually four parts of the voice for the choral music, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. I usually start from the soprano and finish off with the bass. I usually record the soprano part several times because if you make several takes of the soprano, it sounds like different people sing the same line. It adds weight to the voice and it accentuates the main thing of the music. After I finish all the vocal recordings, I go to Audio FX. From here, I choose the Space Designer, Mono to Stereo, HD Surrounded Space, HD Surrounded Halls, and Ancient Church. Now your vocal recording will be sounding like you're singing in the church. Now let's listen to the recording of the One Person Choir. After the vocal recording, it's time to move on to the instruments. I use the MIDI to create the instrumental part. I connect my Mac to the piano with a Bluetooth MIDI. You can also use the MIDI cable to connect to your instrument. So far, I prefer the Bluetooth MIDI because it saves me a lot of energy and time, and it works exceptionally well. To start MIDI, again, we have to go to the top of the page and click on this plus button and choose software instrument. Here we look for the orchestra flutes for the first melody. After I finish writing the melody, I check the pitch and the timing. In my experience so far, it's better to make some of the notes shorter than it should be because we want to hear the breath in between the phrase, thus to bring the music alive. After checking the pitch and the timing, I do audio FX. I choose Space Designer, Stereo, and Factory Default. These will create the sound that you can hear in the concert hall. Now let's listen to the instrumental part. For Baroque music, though it's not instructed in the music score, I usually tend to add the harpsichord to make it sound more like the music at that period.
Let's listen to the orchestra with a harpsichord. Here, I let the organ to play the vocal lines to add the weight to the main theme. Now let's listen how the organs sing the main melody. It's worth mentioning that I didn't add any audio effects for the organs here, so it sounds a little bit dry. However, it's a very good background for the vocal part and all together. Now let's listen to the organ with the choir. Organ, harpsichord, and orchestra. Now is the final work, Tutti. <laughs> 